Hello everyone, we will continue the topic performance tools and in the last video we started with EPC tool, extended program check tool. It is for static code check, there is no need to run the program, it will static, it will do the static code checking of the program and it is very good tool at least whatever the unwanted code you have done in the program at least it will identify all those things suppose i declare 20 30 variables and i am not at all using in the program so use this tool at least your code will become neat and clean after that it simply identified also that you have given the text in hard-coded language, English language. So whenever there is a translation, it will create problem. So we gave the text symbols. Now we will create these text symbols. We all know, we should, we should always, always give the labels through text symbol. So if you have not used text symbol, but at least make a practice to use this tool. So we can easily, easily identify that we have done these mistakes while writing the code. So 000 sales document number, 001 creation date. Now we will go for next 002 time. We all know this practice. User name. Now we will go for next thing, item number. And 005 is material number. So I will increase the length. Suppose I'm saying 10. Here I will write now item number. I will increase the length. Okay. Now it is accepted. I will go for now 005 material number. I will take four. I will activate. So we created the text symbols for all the six text. With the help of text symbol, we are providing the text. Now, if I will go to program, check, extended program, check. I will select all the checkboxes and you can see previously we have six errors in front of character string. Now we do not have any error. Now we will come on to next thing. I will come to this error call function slash method interfaces. This is just I took one example. You might have different program, you might have different sort of warnings, errors or messages in your extended program check. So I'm just taking the examples that you will face this, this, this kind of error messages or warnings in the extended program check. If I will come to this error, it is clearly saying you are using reuse ALV grid display, but you have not 
uncommented the exception. If I will double click here, you see, we used reuse ALV grid display function module. Suppose some runtime error triggered because suppose we have not given the right field catalog or some mistake is there. We have not uncommented the exception. So system will simply, simply throw runtime error. So have you seen this is always a best practice. Always, always uncomment the exception. By mistake, we have not analyzed these things. But extended program check is helping us to correct all those things. So we will uncomment the exception. And it is so that runtime error will not come. We'll go for program check. Extended program check. Now, if I will simply see, have you seen all error gone? So at least make it target that there should not be any error in the extended program check. If we are able to correct each and everything, that is fantastic. That is very good. But some things are not in our control. Yes, at that time, at least we will target error. Suppose I will go for one more example. Suppose I am going for simple. See, it will. it is a very good tool for the static code check. Suppose I put one more dot. So there's no mistake, nothing. Many times we do this at the end of one line by mistake, we put two dots. There's no problem at the code at all, nothing. It will not impact at all. But the static code check will analyze this point also. Suppose if I will go to program, check, extended program check, if I will go for run, we are getting super plus statements too. If I will double click, it is clearly saying the line contains a single period. Means line should contain a single period. If I will go again and you put two things, two dots. Very good tool. At least it will make our code neat and clean. It will help us to remove all the unnecessary, unwanted code. If I will go to program, check, extended program check. Now, rather than two, one will be there. Have you seen that one gone? That one gone. Suppose, now I will go for suppose one more example. We gave a wrong in. Whenever we will give a wrong input, this internal table will be initial. So system will go to which part? Else part. And in the else part, we will give a message. Suppose I am saying message. You all know how you can give a message through message keyword. Suppose I am saying Order number is not correct. Many people do this. They will give the message like this. We all know we should never, never hard code a message into one language. We should always, always use message class. Suppose by mistake, if you did that part, SAP extended program check will capture this also. If I will go to program check, extended program check. If I will go for run check, you can see we are getting one error. And it is clearly saying string without text elements are not translated. So it is a hard coded message in one English language, we should always, always use message class for the same. So if I will go to SC91 transaction code, 
if I will give a message. I will simply give a message order number is not correct. I will go for save. Now I will give the message with the help of this message class. Message E002. What is the message number? 002. And what is the message class? ZM message. We know all those things. But if by mistake we have not following, so at least we should make a practice to use this tool. So if I will go to program, check, extended program, check. And you can see that error column. So this is the way how you can use this particular tool, extended program, check. So what is the full summary of the video? Now we covered the tool EPC. EPC means extended program check. How it is different from ST05 or SAT? On those tools, in those tools, ST05 and SAT, you run the program. But in this case, we are not running the program. We are going for static code check. And we saw so many things. Suppose we did some unwanted declaration. So it captured that also. Suppose we put two dots. It captured that also. Suppose we are going for the text in hard-coded language. It captured that also. Suppose by mistake, we forgot to uncomment the exceptions. So it captured that also. So it is statically checking the code and always make a practice that in your extended program check, at least errors should not be there. It is very good tool which helps us to remove all unnecessary code, all unwanted code from our program. So this is all about the extended program check tool. So that's it in this video. Thank you.